Ooh, you see the grooves. Ah, there we go. Huh. Well, here's the box over here. And, um... Inside the box was this piece of paper. Which, uh, yeah. 78 to... Or, uh, 68 to 74 Nova 25 kit left and right in the Chevelle box. So it says the quantity is um, 1, 1, and 1. I got a box and two pipes. And I guess the kit means it's just that you get those three parts because there was nothing else in the box. Now, I purchased this Apparently 2019. So, um, wow, that's five years ago. Huh. <laughs> that's funny. So, um, yeah. Yeah, these have been sitting for like four years. Bought them a while back. And I never installed them on the car because I ended up parking the car. And we ended up doing some other stuff. But now that I've lowered the Nova. It's time to uh, fix the exhaust because, as you can see, the mufflers hang low, like really low. And that one on the driver's side was scooping rocks up and dragging the ground. Um, now they weren't crooked like that when I initially did this, they were straight, but because I took the subframe off and put the engine back together and transmission and switched this and switched that, everything kind of got jumbled around and I just kind of stuck them back up on there. So they would just kind of be in place and they've kind of been in place for the duration because it was just kind of temporary. I didn't realize that they're going to be dragging the ground. I guess I should have figured that one out. So we're going to take this eBay kit and put it on the car so we can fix the mufflers dragging the ground. I don't have any instructions, but fortunately the company I got these from, which I don't know who it is because I can't find it on eBay anymore. I guess they're no longer in business but um, it says right here that this is the left tail for the Nova and that this one over here uh, right there is the right tail or tailpipe <clears throat> so Nova tail left which I'm assuming is driver's side so we're gonna bring it back here put it on the ground I'm assuming it goes this way, something like this. So this comes, it goes up over the rear axle, comes straight along by the gas tank and dips down underneath what would be the back bumper, which this car won't have a back bumper because it just won't. Um, good thing we're in a wonderful state of Tennessee where you don't have to have bumpers on your car sometimes. It's a hot rod, I guess. Um, Maybe I have a bumper red or something. Anyway, so this is the right side. Which I'm assuming goes like this. Stand it up a little bit, maybe with my foot. Do such a thing. It's too heavy to roll up there, I guess. Yeet. Man, that's why I use old cell phones to record, because... That would have been terrible if that was a new camera. So this comes back up over the rear axle like that. And then this kind of comes along the side of the fuel tank. And then back out the rear of the car. So looking under the car, you can see where the fuel tank's at. And if I'm not mistaken, these will come right along the center where my mufflers are. And I'll probably end up moving the mufflers forward so I can do this. Because right now I think the muffler's maybe back a little bit, um, and I gotta lift. I gotta do a little bit of twisting on the exhaust to get the muffler pipes up where they need to be at. But I think we have what we need, so I'm gonna get this car on some jack stands, and then we'll make some adjustments and see if we can get these new tailpipes fit under the car because she's sitting low, as you can see. So the direction of the pipes I had was pretty correct. This portion comes up over the rear end and points back towards the muffler, which you can see there. You can see the same thing on the other side. 
points towards the muffler, goes over the rear end towards the back around the gas tank. I'll show you over here on the passenger side. So basically over the rear end and then this just kind of runs along the outside of the gas tank outside of the spring and we'll dump towards the back oh. and they'll both exit out of the back of the car like so so that's the mock-up pretty straightforward you can see there kind of goes around that side of the spring beside the gas tank and then up over the rear axle and we'll hook up to the mufflers which as I mentioned before temporarily mounted so we'll have to go through and I'm gonna unbolt from the collector up there make some adjustments on the muffler placement probably gonna end up cutting and rewelding these pipes to get them in the correct location for the mufflers which is fine this is a set of thrush welded mufflers that I used to have on my 1997 C2500 pickup truck the first snowman so that's where these mufflers came from I had them for a long time I think I've had these mufflers about 10 years actually I think so getting pretty close yeah I think it's been 10 years and I cut them off my work truck because I found some other mufflers that I decided to put on there before I sold it and these thrush welders I they're these thrush welded mufflers I kept because I like the sound so that's why they're on the Nova and yeah they sound pretty good so I'm going to repurpose these yet again because this project was basically a bunch of leftover parts which is uh, why it's called the misfit and um, why we are where we're at now anyway I'm going to unbolt the mufflers up there and I'll go ahead and fix these parking brake cables that are hanging down underneath here uh, because when I put the car back together the last time, I did not put those above the mufflers for whatever reason. So I'll unbolt my muffler hanger back here, which is bolted up in there. Way up there. Yep, see it bolted up. Unbolt that or loosen up that clamp or whatever we need to do there. And unbolt there and then we'll finagle around. Probably just set the time lapse up. It's going to take a little bit of finagling to get everything lined up. And then once I get it lined up, we will go back and weld everything together and get these mufflers that are hanging low. As you can see, that's the bottom of the car. Um, and those tips are low enough that they were scraping the ground. So actually below the bottom of the wheel on that side. So that's that was the issue. So we'll tighten everything up to the bottom of the chassis. I'll see if I can hug these pipes up here nice and close or closer than they are now because they are they're actually twisted down which is one reason you can see the mufflers twisted down there it's another reason why we're having dragon issues I just didn't get them up high enough so this should alleviate all those problems but yeah I got one area of this floor plan I need to address I have to do that and um I think I put this patch in years ago because there was a hole here. But this is definitely some of the first welding and repair work I did. Yeah, it's pretty bad. We'll make that look pretty again though. And then we'll probably, well, I don't know, maybe some T-Rex liner or maybe we'll just paint Rust-Oleum. As you can see, it's not really deteriorated too bad because things sat in the barn. Sat outside for a few years, but still not too bad. Everything else on this car was solid though. I mean, you can see the rocker panels, no rust at all. That was one reason that I did not let this car go to the scrapyard as it was intended to do. Because the uh, guy I bought it from actually bought it oh. because he was going to chop the roof off of this car and put it on his dad's Nova. Because his dad's Nova, I think, had a tree or something fall on top of it. And I bought this car years ago as a roller for $800 and because i was in it for so little i decided just to make it a fun car and that's exactly what it's been <clears throat> and what it's going to continue to be so eventually we'll get it all done but for right now i'm getting the exhaust fixed so i can drive with this lowered setup and see how much more work i need to do and get the chassis where it needs to be at as far as just a street car nothing real crazy just something i can enjoy driving around 
And then we'll finish up the rear end of this car and the bodywork, and we can call it wrap. Yeah, yeah, and, and we'll paint it. Something other than the rust-oleum roller job that the birds like to poop on.